Guys, welcome. Your true change. Fast Five spot this week, August the 13th, 2013. It's been a while since my last uh, book review. Sorry about that. I've just been uh, moving and getting the business ramping up. We're still kicking butt, doing great, amazing things here uh, over at Your True Change. Uh, today, I want to focus on a book that a really good friend of mine uh, gave me, The Leader uh, Who Had No Title by uh, Robin Sharma. It's an absolutely amazing book. Um, my buddy James Mangello, a personal a fitness trainer up at Bally's in New York City, gave it to me uh, when I left uh, the uh, New York area to move down here to Austin uh, at my going away party. Great guy. Thanks, buddy. And uh, I want to focus on this book. It's really just one of the most amazing books I've read. Uh, this year. Uh, really what it's about is a uh, guy, a fictional character, he's down on life, he's got a bad relationship, he's an ex-military veteran, I'm sorry, he's a military veteran, ex-military, and uh, he meets a counterpart that has the same job as him, who's much older, that works in this job that he considers to be a low-life job at a bookstore, but he realizes uh, that he can be just as successful in this job, in this role, uh, by, by being a leader even though he doesn't have a title for that, that would indicate leadership um, because of the principles that he learns from this counterpart, this uh, one employee. And basically, he spends one day in New York City going around to four different people in different roles, going all the way from a, a cleaning lady in a hotel to a CEO of a major company. Uh, and he learns that in order to be a leader, you do not need a title. And that's why I'm going to go into the five things that I learned uh, from this absolutely just amazing book that Robin Sharma wrote. Uh, number one, uh, it is your birthright to be a leader, okay? You do not have to uh, be uh, a CEO, a president, an executive, somebody uh, that has a big group of people that, um, that you know, answers to them. You can be a leader if you're a garbage man, a cleaning lady, work at a bookstore, do whatever, um, just as much as if you were an executive. Uh, if you lead... And if you do everything possible to show your leadership and to stand up for what's right and, and to make people around you better, uh, then you can be every bit as successful uh, as those people. Okay, So you do not need to have a title in order to be a leader. All of us and any one of us can be. Number two is uh, turbulence equals greatness. We all go through tough times in our life. Divorces, deaths in families, getting fired and laid off from jobs, uh, you know, terrible uh, natural natural disasters, or hurricanes, tornadoes, whatever, uh, all of these experiences, despite contrary belief, actually are good for you. I know it sounds kind of crappy to say that, but the reality is, is that going through bad times makes you better and makes you tougher as an individual and makes you a better leader, and that's really the important thing. Every time you're challenged in your life, every time someone hangs up the phone on you, tells you to go screw yourself, tells you some bad news, treats you like crap, the way you handle that situation will show how far you are in the leadership spectrum and how strong of a leader and therefore a person you are. I think that's really important. Number three uh, is the deeper the relationship, the stronger the leader you will be. Unfortunately, in today's business climate, as most of you know, especially now with Web, web 2.0, email marketing, and really everything, um, most businesses like to treat people, their customers, and their prospects as commodities, as numbers on a spreadsheet, right? Not as actual people, right? They don't really care about them. They just care about possibly getting their money. You know, go and shoot out to a thousand people, get a few, boom, that's all I care about. I don't care if I annoy the people. I don't really care if I form a relationship or not. This is the absolute wrong approach to be taking. You want to form deep relationships with a few people, okay? Form those relationships, show them that you care about them, ask questions about them, show them that you care, show them that you're there for them, be consistent about them, follow your word, if you say you're going to do something, do it, okay, don't sit there and, you know, blast email people, don't sit there and blast call people, don't sit there and just treat people uh, as, 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 you know, commodities, uh, if you do, pr if you promise something, fulfill your promise, have a deep relationship with people. Very important in terms of being a leader. And, of course, number four, uh, great leaders. You've got to be a great person first. And people, this is something that we go over on the top five spot all the time. Personal development is so key. It's absolutely essential to what we do here at Your True Change. you got to better yourself as a person. Always be reading personal development books. Uh, read personal development CDs. Uh, read, read CDs. Listen to, to CDs. Watch DVDs. 
listen to ebooks, watch really awesome video blogs like this one, right? All a part of personal development. Invest to go to seminars. Make yourself better. Always be sharpening the saw. Don't spend your time, you know, relaxing, just kind of, you know, watching mindless TV, listening to mindless, you know, maybe even harmful music. Use that time to be sharpening your skills, getting better, improving your craft, improving the person that you are. Very important. And the fifth thing that I want to go over, really, really important here, small group dedicated equals big change around the world. Okay? And this is something that I get personally. This is, this is how Robin Sharma concludes the book here. He says, look, if you can get a small group of people that can work together and be really, really committed to their message, their cause, and their purpose, and be disciplined in doing so on a consistent day-in, day-out basis, you truly can change the world. And the way he sets it up, where you have one guy who, is, who, who, gets, who goes with a guy uh, who is preaching uh, the leader without a title message to four different people, all in different positions and different walks of life. And they all believe in that same message, and they're all friends, and they all work together to preach that message. Uh, they are one person at a time, slowly, but in a very strong way, changing this world. They're creating people. Uh, they're they're you know creating a consciousness within people to have them realize that they truly are great leaders within. It doesn't matter if you're a garbage man, uh, if you're a janitor, uh, if you're unemployed, if you're a CEO. All of us within us have that ability to be a great leader within. So do everything you can in life to the absolute best of your ability. So that's this week, Robin Sharma. I'm going to be uh, looking to read more of his books in the future. Um, I want to thank you guys for joining me. This week, um, feel free to go out there, lead yourself without a title. And don't forget www.yourtruechange.com. I'll see you next time on the top five spot. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you.